Bye, bitch. I'm just gonna grab all the tickets I have because I'm slowly running out. So this is gonna be exciting. Let's hope I don't waste all of them in one day. She finally moved out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> to celebrate, we're going on a villager hunt. I don't really have much else to say, so off we go. Oh god, I gotta clean this up first. Hang on. Here I am, stalling and wasting time. There's no need for me to be doing this right now, but I'm gonna do it anyways because I'm stupid. I don't know who I'm looking for today, but hopefully whoever I find, they are cool. So I've been thinking about it. Now that Bubbles is gone, Cheese Rat's gone, ugh, there's like no villains on the island anymore because Sprocket's my BFF, so like he's not a villain either. So it's just like, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm gonna find a villain today. Maybe I'm gonna look for an ugly villager. Who knows? We'll see. We'll just keep, <laughs> we'll just keep hunting. Hopefully, like I said, it's somebody worth it. Biscuit or Fang. As always, I'm still looking for them. Anyways, who is on island number one? It's an orange vill- Oh my god, I thought it was Biscuit. <laughs> Billy, hi batty. I like Billy, but he's a jock, so I'm not gonna take him. I'm holding out hope, like I said, for either Biscuit or Fang. Or maybe somebody ugly. Maybe somebody who I know will stir the pot. There's no bottle. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Why is it the first tree that I shake? Fuck, 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 Wilbur, get me out of here. Wilbur, hurry up. No, I pressed B. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. That was the scariest minute of my life. This is like the sixth or seventh villager hunt already on Fallbrook. I've been villager hunting like crazy lately, huh? I feel like I've been doing more villager hunts on this island than I have been like terraforming. I don't know. It's just like inspiration hasn't real. Oh my God, it's Vic. Can I be honest with y'all? Please don't judge me, but like, you know, like if he was human, Maybe I shouldn't say it. Maybe, I'm, you know, no, I'm gonna keep that to myself. How about that? Some things are better left unsaid. Maybe it's time I started taking that quote seriously. I really can't just go on around saying whatever the hell pops into my head 24 seven because that's how people get their asses beat by running their mouths. Oh my God, can this fucking fish, watch it be like a black bass. I'm gonna be wasting my time right now. Ah, fuck. So I booted up my new Leaf Town today for the first time in like four months. Not much has changed on there, but I forgot that Margie lives on my new Leaf Town too. I forgot about that. So I was pleasantly surprised when I saw her roaming around on that town. It was very nice. Shout out to Margie. Where is the furniture? There it is. Ooh, and there's a bottle. We all know the drill. Who is it from? Three, two, one. Ew, Simon Cowell. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. A sauna heater. Oh, that's something I don't know. Shout out to Simon Cowell. I'm just gonna move on. I'm not gonna say anything else. I just, mm, just, he gives me himbo vibes. No, I said don't say anything else. Shut up. Island number three, who is it? Who, where are they? What the hell? Where were they at? Hello? Villager number three. Oh my god, it's Nox. Nox this. Nox that. That's a bad pun. Don't do that. First we got a Viking. Now we have a knight. What is up with that? We're going through history today, folks. There's a bottle too. Wow, two islands in a row. Good for me. Who's front? Three, two, one. Not what? <laughs> Island. Wait, what? He's on the island. Nox? And he gave me a knight's helmet. What the fuck? Sir, you're over here. Is this Nox? This is Nox. I swear this is Nox. Where'd he go? Why is he hiding in the back? You're Nox. Oh my god. Did he leave that bottle there? I think he just left that bottle there for someone to pick up. With a knight. That was weird. Okay, that was weird. I'm moving on. Wilbur, get me out of here. That was a very weird moment. <laughs> so we're just gonna move on from that now. I don't know how long this video is gonna be either. Hopefully it's long enough because I am trying to make longer videos now. I've been doing a lot of short videos lately and I'm trying to break out of that habit. I think we're on island number four. I already lost count. Who do we think it is? Three, two, one. <gasps> <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Fuck me in the ass. It's Lily's girlfriend, y'all. Yo, when I was playing New Leaf back in like high school and I learned that Diana was one of the new villagers, I wanted her so bad. Like, bitch, she's an icon. She's beautiful. Look at her. And I wanted her on my town so bad. And then like, I never got her. Here I am five years later. I finally find her and I'm probably gonna say no to her <laughs> because I already, I mean, like I already have two snooties on my island. And like I said, I don't like having more than two of any villager except 
for crankies and lazies. Those are the only two exceptions because they're my favorites. Sorry to the Diana stands, but I'm just, I just have, I'm gonna say no. And besides, she lives on Molokai and she's currently, I'm pretty sure she's in a relationship with Lily. I don't want to break them up. Lily's been through enough. The last thing I need is for her to be separated from her girlfriend. Don't you dare hurt Lily. <laughs> I love how like I always complain about villager hunting and how long and boring it is. And then I still film them. I didn't have to film this. No, I could have just done this on my own time and surprised y'all with who I found. But no, I'm a clown. I'm going to be fucked up by this villager hunt. And that's okay because, oh my God, it's Nana. Nana, Nana, boo boo. <laughs> how many times do I find Nana? I feel like I find her a lot too. I just like, I feel like I'm always complaining about villager hunts, but I still do them because let's be honest, there's not much else to do in this game anymore. What do we think this furniture piece is? Three, two, one. What is it? A magic kit. First, I find a fortune telling set and now I find a magic kit. Katrina update confirmed. No, I'm kidding. Can you imagine? At this point, I don't expect any updates. Nintendo, bestie, hey bestie, if you're watching this, just give us an update. At this point, I feel like we'd take anything. No, we wouldn't. I feel like even if it's a big update, people are still gonna complain because that's just how communities work. We're never satisfied. No matter how much you give, we always want more. But I mean, at the same time, if you don't give us anything, that's worse. I said this as a joke when Animal Crossing New Horizons was first announced, but I was like, watch, it's gonna be The Sims 4 of the Animal Crossing franchise. I said that as a joke. And now here it is pretty much being The Sims 4. What is up with the fourth installment of any game being cursed? No, that's not true. Uncharted 4 was great. Uncharted 4 was my favorite game out of all of them. Oh my god, it's Jakey. I always thought that Jakey and Peck were related. So it would be funny to take Jakey or Jacob. I swear his name is Jakey. Oh wait, that's in the UK version. I don't know why I know that. I had, oh fuck, right when I despawned my net. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. No. Oh my god, controversial thing I'm about to say, but honestly, y'all, I kind of miss Peck. I kind of miss having him on the island, honestly. I, I know a lot of people think I don't like him. Honestly, like, I don't know why. I feel like I've never actually explained why I never liked Peck. I don't know either, because I had him on Windle, which was the first island I ever did. He was one of my original 10, and then he moved out, and then he auto-filled on Eldnew, and I think that's what made me annoyed, because he was just one of the villagers I was trying to kick out on Windle, and it took me, like, a really long time. I reset in June. June. He moved in in June and then he didn't move out until like October. So that was like five months of me trying to kick Peck out and he just wouldn't budge. Finally got rid of him because I just wanted somebody else. And I think that was the villager hunt where I found Marina or Tom. It was one of those. I don't remember. Y'all can go watch it. And then to have him come back on Eldnew as like an autofill. It was just, it was so cursed. And I think that's why I was just like, ugh. Now I have to deal with his bullshit again. But now he's one of the like staple villagers of Eldnew. He hasn't moved out. He won't be moving out because honestly, I do like him a lot. I think for the second time ever in my life, I just have to say shout out to Peck because honestly, he's annoying, but he is an icon. Oh God, it's Money Rock Island. Who's the villager? Oh my God. Oh, it's... <laughs> Not Biddy. Biddy. Ugh. She's like the cursed version of Bubbles. God, what is up with me and the hippo villagers lately? My New Leaf Town that I just talked about, on that island, I have three hippos living on that island. Hippo, who's one of my enemies. I don't want to talk about it. Biff as well. I like Biff. He's not that bad. And also Rocco. Rocco, I feel like, is the only, like, acceptable one for me. Rocco is my favorite hippo in the game. I do like him a lot. I don't care what anybody says. So I'm not mad that he's on the town, in the town, but the other two, what can you do about it? That is one thing that I miss, you know, not having a choice. Because honestly, I've said it before in my Q&A, like someone asked me like what my unpopular Animal Crossing opinion was. And I said that villager hunting ruined the game and I still stand by it because honestly, I feel like just in general, when you're given a choice for everything, you're obviously always going to choose the positive outcome. Like you're going to want a villager that you want on your island. And I feel like because of that, there's just like no conflict. And like, because there's no conflict, that's kind of why your game gets a little boring after a while. Like I feel like with with New Leaf, one thing that I really liked was just having like that enemy in your town and just somebody who you could fight every single day, which like, yeah, I even had that on Eldnew, like I said, with Peck. And then on this island, I had that with Bubbles and Chatter, but they both left. I think that's kind of why I'm desperate to get a villain on the island right now too, just because I need, I need the drama. Y'all, I'm a dumbass bitch who lives for the drama. Like, I just want an enemy, someone who I can fight. And then like the other great part about that is just like when they finally move out, like you just had that awesome feeling of like satisfaction like you finally managed to kick them out you no longer have to deal with their bullshit again i felt like that when cheese rat moved out oh my god oh my god <laughs> 
and it was it was a great feeling but like like i said now that bubbles is gone it's just kind of like what do i have left to do on my island i have so many enemies not enough, like i've talked about some of them but there are so many people who cross the line and i'm just like a lot of people know like i don't like dina i don't like opal and everybody thinks i don't like them because i think they're ugly i don't hate them because like i think they're cute villagers i've never said that they were ugly and that's another thing about new horizons and a lot of people who play new horizons is that they the main reason why a lot of people don't like certain villagers especially like the pop, the most like popular hated villagers or the most unpopular villagers i should say like hippo like rodney it's just that they're ugly in new leaf like everybody had like at least one ugly villager live on their town i feel like it was a requirement and even in like city folk and wild world and stuff because you had no choice so you just kind of dealt with the ugly villagers kind of like in real life you can't always choose who you want to live with sometimes you got to deal with some uglies in your life i deal with three in my house you know my family <laughs> no i'm kidding my sister's not ugly but the other two are i kind of miss having like legitimate reasons for disliking a villager not simply just because they're ugly like opal and dina those two i don't like them for a certain reason oh my god it's lyman <laughs> Lyman lived on Windle. That's why I love him a lot. Oh, I miss him. I miss him so much. I'm not taking him. I don't want to repeat. But like, ah. Uh. Lyman is an example. He's kind of ugly. Not really, but he's kind of ugly. I like him anyways because he's cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just have to get that out of the way. Stop hating on villagers just because they're ugly. That's so stupid. How would you feel like if somebody didn't like you because you were ugly? Just saying. Villagers have feelings too. And stop hating on the gorilla villagers just because they're gorillas. That one feels weird. Like the, no, I'm gonna die right in front of Wendell or Wilbur. What the fuck? Thank you, Wilbur. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I spent like God knows how long just now talking about villagers. I don't know if any of that made sense. I'm, <laughs> you know. Basically what I'm saying is stop hating on villagers because they're ugly and get actual reasons for hating on them. Like I don't like Opal because when I was a kid, she was just very mean to me. I don't like Dina because Dina ruined my town. My town was so pretty in New Leaf. I guess I'm finally sharing why I don't like Dina. Also, same reason why I don't like Rodney, by the way. Dina and Rodney. So let's start off with Rodney. I had a town in New Leaf and I just started that town because I reset my town like every other month. I don't know why I'm getting into this, but I guess I will. Who lived on that town? I didn't have that town for long because of Rodney. So I can't remember who lived on that town. I think like Cousteau was in that town and like Renee, the purple rhino. The town was fine. It was great. And like, you know, usually because Rodney's a smug villager, usually your smug villagers are the ones to move in either sixth or seventh. So this was like early. Is that Sky? Oh, fuck me. Not again. <laughs> Y'all, I love the wolves but like i don't want to have like i know like people always say like why don't you just do a wolf island i don't like having one type of any villager like i like i like diversity i don't want to use that word but like <laughs> i thought about having a wolf island then it's like every single villager hunt i'm only looking for wolves like that's kind of boring i like surprises i'm not taking sky i'm sorry anyways yeah back to what i was saying so rodney was i believe my seventh villager to move into that town i don't remember what that town was called either okay hi so i dug through my 3ds looking for photos of the town. Here it is, here's proof. And there he is. Believe it or not, this was in 2018. So I was 18 years old, meaning I was a fucking adult when all of this happened. Good to know. Also, while we're here, I just wanna share one other fun fact, if I can fucking scroll any quicker. There's Renee. Renee telling me to run away from bees. Here's Cousteau. Oh, there we go. This is every single villager that lived on that island. Don't ask why I took photos like this. There's Rodney. There's Timbra. Renee. Nana, who we saw earlier. Cobb. And fucking Hugh. Hugh lived on that island or town too. And also these three. My best friend and my enemy on one town. Just thought I'd insert that in real quick. So there was a store. It was called Retail. That's where Reese and Cyrus worked. It was essentially like flea market sort of situation. Your villagers would like like put up their furniture for sale. You can get it for a reduced price. You could also go there to sell your stuff instead of going to Nooks, which was on Main Street. That's how you used to um, customize your furniture as well. Cyrus would be the only one who was able to do it. And, you know, I had plans for retail because my retail was like really close to Town Hall. So I was thinking of making like a little city shopping district sort of situation. So Rodney's ugly ass moved in right smack dab in front of my fucking retail. <laughs> right in front of the retail. Like when I say right in front, I mean like literally 
literally right in front of it. Like when you're standing in front of retail trying to get in, Rodney's house was in the way. It just pissed me off right there. That's retail, the pink building in the back, and that's Rodney's house. It's like right in front of it. And then I kid you not, like immediately I just started ignoring him and trying not to talk to him. A few weeks later, he came up to me and was like, hey, um, I've been thinking and like, I kind of want to move out. So I was like, oh my God, yeah, leave, bye. And then he was like, wait, you're willing to let go of me that easily? No thoughts about it? I'm going to stay. I'm going to convince you that I'm the best person alive. So I'm not leaving because they used to do that. If you don't know, in New Leaf, if you were not close with your villagers and they asked you to move out, they would be like, wait, you're just saying yes like that? No, I'm staying. They would do that. All right, inserting this in for proof. This is when Chow asked me to move out and he, I said, yes, you can leave if you want. And he said, I'm going to work hard to become true friends with you, even if it takes my entire life. And he decided not to move. Well, as soon as he did that, I, that was the only time I ever rage quit in fucking Animal Crossing. I rage quit and I've reset that fucking town. And ever since that day, I said, fuck Rodney. Oh my God, it's Tammy. I like Tammy. She's cool in my books. I don't care. That's why I don't like Rodney. Dina, similar reason. Only instead, this was my more recent town. Like this was the town I had before the one that I currently have. So like I was an adult. Um, and <laughs> basically your town plaza, which is essentially like your resident services. The only difference, there's no town hall, but instead of town tree, which I preferred where all your events would happen and yada yada. So I decorated my plaza. Cute, very foresty, very like cottage core, you know, what the girlies are doing today. And like, I had like a bunch of trees and like, let me tell you something about New Leaf. I fucking love that game. Decorating your towns in New Leaf, so annoying. <laughs> you only get one tree a day. It's random, either a sapling or a cedar tree. You only get two bushes a day, completely random amongst all the ones that we have. I think it's all the same ones in this game and two flowers. And the problem is, is that once you plant said trees or bushes down, you can't dig them back up or move them. You have to like leave them there. So it took me a very long time to decorate my town plaza the way I wanted to. I had a vision and that vision came to life. And then Dina's stupid ass <laughs> one day decided to plop her fucking house right in front of my fucking plaza. Who is that? I see them. They're red. Is that Bunny? Oh my god, it's Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Gabby reminds me of Stardew Valley. She looks like a farm girl. If you're going for a farm core island, get Gabby on your island. I feel like she would work. She looks like a lesbian farmer. So fuck Dina. She moved right in front of it, destroyed my trees. Dina said deforestization. She hates trees. And that's why I'm against her. I'm coming back. <laughs> Look, that's fucking Dina's house. She moved in and went through my photos again. This is the day she moved in. Look, she destroyed my town. She moved right there. My plaza is right behind that tree over there. Like, it was right there. You want to fucking know what I did as soon as she moved in? I wrote this. <laughs> I said, listen, villagers, Dina has just moved in, but from here on, she is canceled. You are not to ask why. This was in 2019. I was about to turn 20 years old, and this is how I acted in my Animal Crossing town. I've always been a dramatic bitch. Even though Dina is adorable, and I definitely do agree that she's a cute villager, y'all, if y'all like her, I don't care. I I just personally don't like her because she wronged me. Fuck Dina. Here's more proof of Dina being annoying. She said, sorry to be a bother, but could you please bring me a piece of fruit if you find one? Any kind is fine. We're standing right in front of a fucking pear tree and she's telling me to get her a piece of fruit. Like, I feel like if Dina were to live on my island, like I would deal with it because obviously in New Horizons, we get to choose where they live, not vice versa. So like, but Rodney, mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm. Actually, how does Dina's house look? Honestly, if Dina has a cute house, I'd probably consider getting her. Oh, it's not ugly. Ugly. Inside's interesting. Oh my god, wait, Dina wants to be a music teacher. That's so weird because when I was growing up, I wanted to be a music teacher. Interesting. Maybe I would consider Dina. I probably wouldn't take her, but like, I could. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, wow, I did not realize I finished a stack. Um, oh my god. <gasps> I was just talking about him. It's Rocco. Wait, that would be so weird if I took Rocco because like I said, I have him in my new leaf town and I also have Margie on that town too. So like that would be, I iconic. Oh, his house is ugly. Never mind. Oh, have I said who lives on that New Leaf town? Anna Cotty used to live on that town, but she moved out. Thankfully, I checked today. She finally moved out. Barold lives on that island, which is so funny. I like Barold. I don't care what anybody says. I think he's cool. He reminds me of like three of my uncles. Well, I mean, like, I don't really like my uncles, but like Freya lives on that island. I love Freya. She's a wolf. So I automatically love her. Charlize. Shout out to Charlize. She said gay rights. She beats up homophobes. I love Charlize. And who else is on that island? Hippo. 
Ugh. <gasps> oh, I thought it was dizzy. Never mind. Ew, that's Axel. I don't like Axel. Why is his like look at his fucking mouth? Look at his fucking mouth. Why is he always grinning? What are you so grinny about? Hey there. Awesome to meet ya. My name's Axel. What about you? Where are you from? This A. Eh? And you're from Fallbrook? Cool names from a strong sounding place. Have you ever gone on a solo kayak tour that suddenly turned into a super exciting survival tour? He really said E. Like, look at him. Coming from someone who clenches their jaw so much that he now has to wear a night guard. Why are we blinking at the same time? Like, what the fuck? Get yourself a fucking night guard. I'm just gonna talk like this until I get off the island for the rest of the time. I'm gonna grit my teeth, which is something that causes me migraines. Okay, I'm getting off this island now because I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know why I did that. Sometimes my brain just doesn't. It just doesn't, you know? You ever have that happen? Your brain just doesn't. Ooh, speaking of my jaw, like I said, I have to wear a night guard now because I clench my jaw and grind my teeth in my sleep and that causes me migraines. Also, I have a lazy eye and my lazy eye <laughs> also causes me migraines. So I have to wear glasses now, which is great. I love getting older. I just find it so rude that as your body ages and gets older, it gets worse. Like that just feels like such a scam. Your body gets worse as you age. I feel like it should be getting better. Why is it getting worse? I'm blind in one eye. I can hardly hear out of my left ear. I get migraines easily. My legs hurt. I'm only 21, might I add. I think I need to start working out. That's- <gasps> No, 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 no. I'm not dealing with that. No, not on a fucking mystery island. Me and Sherb alone on an island, that's death right there. And I was just talking about aging and getting older. No, that's the second Molokai resident I saw today though. So that's kind of funny. I've already been recording for 40 minutes and I haven't found a villager yet. I don't know how long I'm gonna be doing this today. My day ad, I'm just kind of going until I, why am I, I'm trying to turn my lamp on. I don't know why I'm still talking. I'm all the way in the back of my room. Okay, hi, I'm back. What island are we? On. Oh, we're about to finish a stack. This is island. Wait, what island is this? Um, <gasps> not, th <laughs> not this. Oh my God. Well, there's Molokai resident number three of the day. Why are you out in the wilderness? You should be with Amanda. Go back. Shout out to the Amanda files. Hey, Oomph, how you doing? Not to flex, but she knows who I am. I'm so dumb. I'm such a fangirl though. Can I just say, I fucking love the Amanda files. We all know this. I'm gonna gas her up again today because I feel like it. Shout out to the Amanda files. I'm still not over the fact that she watches my videos and follows me on Instagram. Just saying, it's a very surreal moment to have that happen. By the way, I know I'm playing in the morning right now, but it's actually nighttime. It's 9 p.m. It's currently 9 a.m. in my game. It's 9 p.m. Looking outside, I'll probably insert a photo of it right here. It's very bright out, even though it's 9 p.m. right now. Perks of living in Toronto in the summertime, the sun sets very late. Very weird though, because like it's bright outside. Oh gosh, it's Trash Island. Who's the villager? This is island number 19, I think. It's- <gasps> Wait, this is a weird one because not only is she a Molokai resident, but she used to live on El New. Oh my God. <laughs> It's Pom Pom. Did they go on like a day trip or something? Why is everybody just traveling around Pom Pom? Mm, I fucking miss her so much. You're getting married soon. Why are you out here by yourself? Where's Pierce? Is Pierce here? This is the third one in a row. What the fuck? This is island number 19. No, wait, I lost count. Who do we think it is? Who is that? Oh my God. It's Sherry. Oh my God. God, Sherry lived on the same town in my New Leaf town, the one with Dina. So that's very weird. Hi, girly. Haven't seen you in a while. Oh my god, oh my god, she remembers me! Bitch, I miss you. Ugh, I'm not taking her, but I do miss her. Ooh, I have not been looking for bottles. Uh, I don't want to. Uh, I just kind of want this villager hunt to end. <laughs> I feel like most people who villager hunt, when they hit the one hour mark, they've gone through like maybe 40, 50 tickets. You know, they just kind of like whip and bum, go in, look at the villager, then leave. And then there's me. It's been almost an hour and I've only been through, what did I say, 20 tickets? It's like every single villager I find, I have something to say about them. I should just make a video. People have been asking for that one too. I should just make a video where I give all my thoughts on every villager. I was gonna do that originally like a while back and then I just never got around to doing it because there were just there's just so many villagers in the game but yeah maybe we'll do it sometime in the future so subscribe if you haven't if you want to see that. Oh god we're on bamboo island again. It did not go well last time so who is it this time? Hello? Oh my god oh my god it, oh it's Dizzy! Ah! When I saw Axel earlier on I thought it was Dizzy. Oh Dizzy has a really nice house. I already 
already have two lazies on my island. I could take them, but I want to keep going. I want to keep going. Like I said, if it's not Biscuit or Fang, I'd rather get a shit stirrer. Shit stirrer. Oh my god, Drago. Another LD resident. If it's not Biscuit or Fang, I'd rather it be a pot stirrer. Though I feel like if I find a pot stirrer, I'm probably not going to take them. And I feel like I already passed three. I could have had Sherb on my island. You know, just in case Sprocket gets a little annoying. I feel like Sherb knows how to disassemble a robot. Or, you know, when Wolfgang starts acting like an asshole, I can just like send Sherb after. Oh, damn it. Maybe I should have taken Sherb. We're officially halfway through the year. What are your top albums of 2021 so far? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I've been listening to a lot more albums lately instead of just like individual songs. Like when I go to like work and stuff, like I kind of like put on an album. Oh my God, Knox again? Girl, stop. Are we back in 1472 or whenever the medieval times were? I didn't pay attention in school. Why did we learn about? I don't know. I feel like this might've just been a Canadian thing, but the fourth grade, you had like an entire unit of your social studies class where you just fucking learned about the medieval times. What was up with that? That was a moment in history. And then we went to medieval times. Oh my God, yeah. Our school had a field trip to medieval times and we watched like a bunch of people cosplaying as knights and like riding horses and stuff. That was fun. What was I talking about again? Yeah, top albums of 2021. Personally, if I had to rank, like I didn't really listen to a lot of albums this year. Honestly, like, like I've been listening, honestly, tw I think 2020, there were so many great albums that year, which like they don't get enough credit. There were so many good albums in 2020. Like you have Sawayama, album of the year, Folklore, which Grammys considered album of the year, which I agree with. You had Future Nostalgia, fucking love that one. Charlie XCX is How I'm Feeling Now, great quarantine album, Ungodly Hour by Chloe and Hallie. <gasps> it's Baby Joey again. Oh my God, I'm a gay ass bitch. I'm Joey J for the Queen Plot Twist. I gave this like. I don't even know what I just channeled there. 2000 and Forever by Brie Runway, Isaac's Insects by Isaac Dunbar, other great albums. What was another one? Oh, Plastic Hearts by Miley Cyrus. That was so sick. Like I said, like really good albums last year. After Hours by The Weeknd. We all know Robbed by, from the fucking Grammys, but we won't get into that. Kid Crow by Conan. Honestly, I really liked Rare. <laughs> by Selena. <laughs> Specifically the deluxe version. The original was like okay. There were some good songs on there but like I really liked the deluxe because like Souvenir was on it. Feel Me was on it. Those two songs are really really good. Halsey's album was fun. Oh my god yeah Halsey's album came out last year. Wow. That, was, that felt like forever ago. Ooh I don't think a lot of people talk about it anymore but the Birds of Prey soundtrack was so good in my opinion. I really liked it. Specifically for Boss Bitch by Doja Cat. That was a fucking song. That was my most played song of 2020 which oh my God, fun fact about that song. Um, yeah, like I said, it was my most played song of 2020. And because of that song alone, Doja Cat was my top three artists. Number one, obviously John Bellion. And then number two was Doja Cat because of the one song. Um, yeah, Boss Bitch, I heard like over 300 times. Oh my God, Lyman again? Hello? Why am I getting another repeat? That's weird. Anyways, yeah, Boss Bitch, such a good song. And like the first time I heard it was like the day it dropped. And apparently that was also the day that I streamed it the most like I remember there was a point last year January February where like that was the only song I was listening to <laughs> the only song was Boss Bitch by Doja Cat at one point shout out to Boss Bitch and shout out to Doja Cat <laughs> and speaking of Doja Cat Stream Planet Her aka Album of the Year 2021 it's a really great album yeah and back to my original question my top three albums of 2021 number one would probably be Planet Her number two Paranoia by Maggie Linman Stan Maggie Linman it's just like perfect Perfect. Basically, it's like 2000s punk rock brought to life again in 2021. It's a great album. Or it's an EP, I guess. There's only like eight songs on there, but it's still, it's really good. And honestly, I would say like so far, my third favorite album of the year was honestly Life Support by Madison Beer. I know Madison Beer doesn't really get like a good rep on like Twitter or whatever, but like she does make good music. Oh my God. No. No, she's a snooty. She's not my favorite snooty anymore, but I can love her so much. Oh, I can't. I can't. Sorry, Amelia, but I can't. Anyways, yeah, Life Support by Madison Beer. Really good album. Go listen to it. Follow the White Rabbit. Fucking changed my life. <laughs> like, shit, that song is so crazy. I can't believe I just said no to Amelia. Again, like, why is that always happening? Amelia and Ribot, my two, like, they used to be my favorite jock and snooty. Not anymore. Not since New Horizons. And, like, every single time I find them, I never say yes to them. And I don't know why. Like, New Leaf Days, those two were my fucking ride or dies. Alongside, like, Biscuit. I really loved those two. Now I 
have to, I feel like now I have to look for Biscuit. I've been looking for Biscuit on every single villager hunt. This is like the 20th villager hunt I've done on this channel and I still haven't found Biscuit. I still can't get over that. Like 20 villager hunts, almost a year. Oh my God, it's Nate. I like Nate too. Honestly, I feel like Nate and Teddy are brothers. They, they're brothers. Nate is like the older stoner brother and Teddy's like the younger one. Like the younger one, he's the star athlete at school. And then the older brother, like kind of like um weird comparison, but Kat and Bianca from 10 Things I Hate About You, I get that vibe from them. Like the really popular younger sibling and then the not so popular kind of outcast older sibling. That's what I get from Nate and Teddy. I guess like Jenny and Dan from Gossip Girl. That's another example. I could have, oh shit, I should have just taken Nate. I dated his brother. I could have dated him too. Uh, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. I've officially been recording for an hour. Oh my God. Imagine one day I just like upload one of my videos unedited. Like y'all don't realize this, but I record for like nowadays, especially I record for like over an hour. Every single video I do now is over an hour. Even the ones that are like really short, like that one villager hunt where I found Poppy, that video was an hour and a half before editing. And I managed to edit it down to 10 minutes. Who is that? <gasps> oh, fuck my life. It's Lopez. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, mamma mia, Italiano. I haven't seen you in a while. He also lived on that town with Dina. Fun fact. I don't have a smug on my island. <laughs> oh, I don't like his house in this game, though. Honestly, it's too bright. He is one of my favorite smugs in the game. He's not my favorite smug, but he's one of them. Mmm. I can't. I can't. I can't. I feel like he would cause drama. He looks like a shit stirrer, but not shit stirring enough to invite him onto the island. I feel like Wolfgang could beat his ass. That's basically what I'm saying. They look like a villager that can get beat up by anybody on our island, including Sprocket, because Sprocket's a robot, including Bo. I feel like Bo can fight. Bo looks like someone who can fight. Like if you piss him off, or no, not if you piss him off. I feel like if you piss someone he's really close with, like his mom, or like you hurt his mom in any way, he will come for you. That's what I, that's the kind of energy I get from him. Like he would murder somebody if they broke his sister's heart or something like that. That's what I get from Bo. And I feel like Bo can beat somebody up if he needs to. Bo is a bit of a shit stir. If you watched my last video, you would know that. But who knows? Maybe, maybe he could throw down if he needs to. Anyways, yeah, I need someone who, if I'm gonna take a shit stir, it has to be someone who looks like they know how to fight and they can beat up at least half my, oh my fucking God. <laughs> Speaking of favorite smug villagers, here's another one. Wait, I already found three out of my five favorite smug villagers in the game. Right now, I'm gonna list them. Pietro, Kyle, Eugene, Jacques, Lopez. Those are my top five smugs. And I've seen three out of five of them today. I could take Eugene, but I don't want him that bad. I feel like like I really, really want Pietro or Jacques on the island. There's that one fan art. I don't know if I can find it, but like that one fan art that's like Kyle, Eugene, Jacques, and Marshall. They're like the stoner squad. And honestly, I feel like all four of them would be like a gang with like Pietro being their awkward, like the awkward one, the outcast of the group. I would watch that show if there was a show that starred Marshall, Kyle, Eugene, Jacques, and Pietro. And they were like a crime fighting super team or something. That would be a really fun show to watch. Somebody make it happen. At least make the fan art happen. I officially blew through another. Oh my God, fuck my life. It's Eric. Uh, I already have Bo. I already have Bo. I don't want both of them. And besides, I'm not going for Cottage Core or Forest core anymore so like uh i'm just gonna say no bye eric if i had to pick between Bo and eric who would i pick i guess i would pick Bo. i think i like Bo more than i like eric but i love biscuit more so if i could find biscuit that would be honestly biscuit would really work in that area because his house is kind of cabiny where bubbles house was his house could work maybe i should find biscuit orville can you just send me to where biscuit is just take me to biscuit biscuit's a french word right i'm pretty sure it is it's spelled c-u-i or b-i-s-c-u-i-t that just looks like something the french people would make up. I was born in Quebec. I shouldn't really be talking shit about them right now. I lost count and I'm too lazy to count how many we're at. Let's just say we have 19 tickets left. Oh God, I just realized. Oh my God, who is that? <gasps> oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. I know who that is. Oh, oh, c'est Gaston. It's the French guy. Speaking of French, oh my God. I was just speaking of French people and it's the French rabbit. Now Gaston looks, Gaston doesn't look like he fights. Gaston looks like he murders. So I would not want him on my island. No, thank you. Gaston. Gaston looks like he butchers people. Mira is his daughter. 100% Mira is his daughter. I get Joel and Ellie vibes from them. I do. Oh my God. Wait, I just said that randomly right now. They, I get vibes from them like that. Joel and Ellie. Mira and Gaston are the Joel and Ellie or like the Logan and Wolverine or just that trope in general. I get those vibes from Mira and Gaston. My mind is so powerful. I, I said I lost count. We have 18 tickets left. Oh my God. It's br 
Wait, shut the fuck up. My cat's name is Bruce and it's Bruce. Oh, I could take him, but that's just weird. I don't want Bruce on my island. Ugh, I already had to go through the debacle with Portia on Windle, even though Portia is one of my favorite villagers. I have a dog named Portia. I can't take Bruce. I'm sorry. Sorry to my cat. Oh, goodness me. There's 17 tickets left. Who's on this island? It's pink. Oh my God. It's another Molokai resident and also another Windle resident. Oh, oh God, I found Lily's girlfriend and I found her ex-girlfriend. What a moment in history. All I need to do now is find Lily. Oh wait, I found Lily in the last one. Interesting. We're at that point of the villager hunt, y'all, where I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of done. And now I'm thinking I should have just took Amelia. Oh my God, it's Carrie. Or no, that's not Carrie, that's Kit. It's Kit and Caboodle, y'all. That's weird because I was watching Chugga Conroy's new leaf let's play today and she was a resident resident of Palette, aka Chaga Conroy's New Leaf Town. That's a weird one. Anyways, next island. Shout out to Chaga Conroy. Who is it? 321. Where are they at? I said 321. You're supposed to show- Oh my god, <laughs> not again. Third time today. Within one hour. Three times. Nox, go back to 1472. Here's some laptop fan ASMR. Maybe one day I'll post an unedited villager hunt and y'all can see how boring I actually am. Oh God, it's another octopus. <laughs> it's Octavian. I'm not taking him. There's no bottle. Oh, but there's a shark. I think it's a sucker fish. Comment down below what fish you think this is right now. Yeah, it's a sucker fish. I can already tell. Question of the day. Am I gonna pee my pants or am I gonna find a villager hunt? Because I really need to pee. Let's pretend I said that sentence correctly. Who is it? It's Patty. I don't want Miss Patty, the gossip queen. I do need a peppy villager though. Oh my God, I just realized that I don't have any peppies on my island because Bubbles moved out. Maybe I should be looking for a peppy. I could take Patty, Miss Patty, the dance teacher, but nah, I'm too lazy to go back up there. Never mind. You know what island number this is. I don't need to tell you. Who is it? Oh my God, not Panchetti. I don't want to deal with her ass again. Speaking of villains, I mean, I could take her speaking of villains, but no, I don't need a Karen on my island. I had her on my first ever island in the game anyway, so last thing I need is to deal with her ass again. It's shister shister for- oh my god, it's Eugene again. I could just take him. Oh, there's a bottle. I could just take him. I'm just- I'm not feeling it though. I'm just not feeling- oh god, not yucky. I'm sorry to the Eugene stands, aka me, but I have to say no to him again. I just like- I'd rather have Pietro. I don't have a smug on my island either. I miss- this is the first time in a while I'm missing two villager types. Interesting. That's interesting. Oh god, we only have one stack left. Wow. Very late of me to realize. Anyways, who is it? Oh my god, it's Flora. Oh my god, speaking of Peppy. <laughs> speaking of Peppy. <laughs> but I don't want to have beef with Flora. I like Flora. It would be fun to have her, but honestly, uh, considering how long I've been recording for, I think I might as well just go for somebody who's a little more exciting in my books. If y'all love Flora, that's fine, but like, don't get mad at me for not taking her. That's another weird thing. People who just get like mad at streamers and YouTubers for not taking their favorite villager and taking a villager that the streamer slash youtuber prefers like if y'all want them that badly go get them yourselves or if you already have them on your island like why should you care if someone didn't take them because you like them that's a really weird reason to get mad at somebody I've gotten a few comments people being mad because they didn't take a certain villager like i said that just seems like a waste of time to get mad at me for that but oh well it's a very weird thing in general anyways <laughs> we're officially on the final stack i have more than enough nook miles though so like i could keep going if I run out of tickets. I'm not picking up the coins this time. My pockets are- oh god, not Tammy again. Stop it. <laughs> One thing for sure though, I'm not auto-filling this time, especially considering how long it's been. I am not auto-filling. We gotta keep going until I- oh god, it's Spork. Why are you named after a utensil? He gives me the same energy as a paper bag. I think this is island number? I don't know. Stew. I don't want stew. Okay. <laughs> Wilbur, I love you, but please, you are the savior of this villager hunt. You are the one who determines who I find. So please put an end to my suffering and just send me to a villager island with Biscuit or Fang. I don't know, even Peck. Honestly, I would take Peck. Peck's on the next island. I'm gonna take him. I feel like at this point, it's Spiral Island. Who is it? It's yellow. <gasps> Oh my god, it's my ex-boyfriend, y'all. It's my ex-boyfriend. Why is he glitching like that? He's glitching. Oh my god, glitch girl. He's trying to be glitch girl so bad. He's literally glitching. When I said I wanted someone to stir the pot, I was thinking of Teddy. I was thinking of either Teddy or Peck. Wait, wait, wait. I was thinking. And then we saw Nate earlier, his older brother. I'm just saying, y'all. I don't know. <laughs>
Oh my god, bro, my boyfriend's on the island. Having my ex-boyfriend and my current boyfriend who I broke up with just so I can be with this one, that would be a, that would be a plot twist. That would stir the pot. I don't think I'm gonna do that though. I, I mean, I shouldn't. I shouldn't, no. Teddy, Teddy belongs on Elbnew. We should not take Teddy. We should just keep going. Sorry, I had to. Mmm, I've been craving for some mess on the island lately, so we're gonna get some. Wolfgang, you got some competition. God, I'm toxic. Gonna be a fun reunion on the island, Teddy and Wolfgang. Ooh, they've never met. They're gonna be meeting for the first time. Anyways, bye. <laughs>